These are the three SAT math mistakes everybody makes. Number one, solving for the wrong solution. The, the, the SAT loves asking for X, something. But most people just solve for X and move on. Like if four times X minus seven equals X minus seven plus three, what's X minus seven? Most will just find X and move on. But the question wants X minus seven, not just X. So be careful. Always double check. What are they actually asking for? Two, not using scratch paper. Just because it's a digital test doesn't mean it's in your head math. Always be writing. Algebraic steps, even easy ones. Diagrams for geometry problems. Charts or tables for word problems. And your work for checking answers. Three, skimming word problems. SAT word problems love sneaky details. Read diligently. For example, a bike rental costs $30 total for the first day, plus 20 for each additional day. What's the total cost for a rental lasting eight days? Many think, well, total equals 30 plus 28, but this is wrong. Because it assumes you're paying $20 every day, including the first, which isn't what the problem says. The question tells us the $30 covers the first day. You only pay $20 per day after that, so the correct setup is total equals 30 plus 20 times H minus 1. So consider reading word problems twice, first for the big picture, then slowly to catch the specific constraints and relationships. Want more SAT hacks? Click the video below.